These are the parts of the roof framing plan using hip and hip and valley roof. Number one, roof beams. Number two, columns. Number three, truss with the three types of truss. Number four, rafters and the two types of rafters. Number five, purlins. And number six, center girt. Here is an example of a plan where these parts are located. Number one, roof beams. Roof beams are these red parallel lines labeled as RB are the roof beams. Number two, we have the columns. The columns are these blue squares. These blue squares located at most corners of the house represent the columns. These are the columns. Okay, next, we have the truss. For truss, we have three. The first one is half truss. Half truss is a truss from the center girt down to the beam, just like this. These are two half trusses. This is the first, and this part is the second. This also is a, par a particular place where you can use half truss in the structure. Here is another location of half truss. Next, we have the full truss. Full truss is a truss from one extreme part of the house to another, which is constructed in full length. This is equivalent to two half trusses. So this is it. Half truss, which passes through the center girt, or the center girt is just part of it in some structure, but not at all. Okay, so these are the trusses. Another one is the hip truss. And let's locate all the hip trusses in this design. This is one, two, three, four, this is the fourth one, the fifth hip truss, sixth, seven, and eight. So there are eight hip trusses in this roof framing plan. Next, we have the rafters. Rafters may be jack or just a rafter in general, and also it may be a ballet rafter. Let us first locate the location or the position where the valley rafter is usually or primarily located. This is the first one, valley rafter. This is located in the valley portion of the roof, especially for the hip and valley roof. This could not be found in hip roof. The other one is the jack rafter. This one is only called rafter, but Basically, this type of rafter is jack rafter. Most jack rafters are located in these particular corners of the structure or the roof framing plan, just like here. Most corners, especially for the hip and valley or hip roof, are the places where the jack rafters are constructed. Next. We have the rafters. Rafters are just like this. It is equivalent to uh, a half truss, but this is not a truss. This is just a top cord, which is used as a rafter. It's, it is also similar to the top cord of the truss. Next, we have the purlins. All blue lines here, which are so many, and the basic dimension between these lines is 0.60 and this is the part of the structure wherein the roofing sheet is directly attached. So the last part of our roof framing plan are the center girts. This is one and this is the second and this is the third. Once again, these are the six 
parts of the roof framing plan when we use the hip and hip and valley roof 